Saint Joseph. S day the 19th of March the feast of Saint Joseph is in western Christianity the principal feast day of Saint Joseph husband of the blessed virgin mary and legal father of Jesus Christ it has the rank of a solemnity in the roman catholic church it is a feast or commemoration in the provinces of the anglican communion and a feast or festival in the lutheran church saint joseph S Day is the patronal feast day for Poland as well as for Canada, persons named Joseph, Josephine, etc., for religious institutes, schools and parishes bearing his name, and for carpenters. It is also Father's Day in some Catholic countries, mainly Spain, Portugal, and Italy. It is a holiday of obligation for Roman Catholics, unless the particular Episcopal Conference has waived the obligation. The 19th of March was dedicated to Saint Joseph in several Western calendars by the 10th century, and this custom was established in Rome by 1479. Pope Pius V extended its use to the entire Roman Rite by his Apostolic Constitution Quo Primum, the 14th of July 1570. Originally a double of the second class and a feast of precept, it was re-raised to be of precept in 1917 after having this status intermittently lost, and consequently also raised to its current rank of double of the first class now called a solemnity, having become in the meantime the rank common to all remaining general feasts of precept. Since 1969, Episcopal conferences may, if they wish, transfer it to a date outside Lent. Even if it occurs inside Lent on the usual date of March 19, it is still observed as a solemnity of a saint. This is one of the few times during Lent the Gloria may be said or sung. The vestor is changed from the purple or violet of Lent to white and or gold, as it would be for such a solemnity normally. The collect and the Eucharistic prayers preface and other prayers are from the solemnity and not Lent. The hymns are more joyful, and the creed is said. However, the Alleluia is still not used, the tract being used instead, per Lenten regulations, between 1870 and 1955, an additional feast was celebrated in honor of St. Joseph as spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary and patron of the Universal Church, the latter title having been given to him by Pope Pius IX. Originally celebrated on the third Sunday after Easter with an octave, after Divino Afflata of St. Pius X see Reform of the Roman Breviary by Pope Pius X, it was moved to the preceding Wednesday because Wednesday was the day of the week specifically dedicated to St. Joseph, St. John the Baptist and local patrons. The feast was also retitled the Solemnity of St. Joseph. This celebration and its accompanying octave were abolished during the modernization and simplification of rubrics under Pope Pius XII in 1955. At the same time, Pope Pius XII established an additional feast of Saint Joseph the Worker to be celebrated on the 1st of May in order to coincide with the celebration of International Workers Day, May Day in many countries. Until this time, the 1st of May had been the feast of the Apostles St. Philip and James, but that feast was then moved to the next free day, the 11th of May and again to the 3rd of May, in 1969, having become free in the meantime. In the new calendar published in 1969, the feast of St. Joseph the Worker, which at one time occupied the highest possible rank in the church calendar, was reduced to an optional memorial, the lowest rank for a saint. S Day, the Eastern Orthodox Church celebrates St. Joseph on the Sunday after Christmas. Popular customs among Christians of various liturgical traditions observing St. Joseph's Day are attending Mass or the Divine Service, wearing red-colored clothing, carrying dried fava beans that have been blessed, and assembling home altars dedicated to St. Joseph. Christian traditions March 19 always falls during Lent, and traditionally it is a day of abstinence. This explains the custom of St. Joseph tables being covered with meatless dishes. If the feast day falls on a Sunday other than Palm Sunday, it is observed on the next available day, usually Monday March 20, unless another solemnity e a church s patronal saint falls on that day. Since 2008, if St. Joseph S day falls during Holy Week, it is moved to the closest possible day before 19 March, usually the Saturday before Holy Week. This change was announced by the Congregation for Divine Worship in Notitia March to April, 2006 475 to 476, page 96 in order to avoid occurrences of the Feasts of St. Joseph and the Annunciation both being moved to just after the Easter octave. 
This decision does not apply to those using the 1962 missile according to the provisions of Summorum Pontificum. When that missile is used, its particular rubrics, which require the feast to be transferred to the next available date after 19 March, must be observed. In practice, the 1962 rubrics lead to the observance of St. Joseph's Day on the Tuesday following Low Sunday, as the Feast of the Annunciation which must also be transferred in years when its assigned date, 25 March, falls during either Holy Week or the Octave of Easter is observed on the Monday after Low Sunday. Italy in Sicily, where St. Joseph is regarded by many as their patron saint, and in many Italian-American communities, thanks are given to St. Joseph San Giuseppe in Italian for preventing a famine in Sicily during the Middle Ages. According to legend, there was a severe drought at the time, and the people prayed for their patron saint to bring them rain. They promised that if God answered their prayers through Joseph's intercession, they would prepare a large feast to honor him. The rain did come, and the people of Sicily prepared a large banquet for their patron saint. The fava bean was the crop which saved the population from starvation and is a traditional part of St. Joseph's Day altars and traditions. Giving food to the needy is a St. Joseph's Day custom. In some communities it is traditional to wear red clothing and eat a Neapolitan pastry known as a zeppola created in 1840 by Don Pasquale Panatoro in Napoli on St. Joseph's Day. Macu di San Giuseppe is a traditional Sicilian dish that consists of various ingredients and macu that is prepared on this day. Macu is a foodstuff and soup that dates to ancient times which is prepared with fava beans as a primary ingredient. Upon a typical St. Joseph's Day altar, people place flowers, limes, candles, wine, fava beans, specially prepared cakes, breads, and cookies, as well as other meatless dishes, and zeppoli. Foods are traditionally served containing bread crumbs to represent sawdust since Joseph was a carpenter. Because the feast occurs during Lent, traditionally no meat was allowed on the celebration table. The altar usually has three tiers, to represent the Trinity. On the Sicilian island of Lipari, the St. Joseph legend is modified somewhat, and says that sailors returning from the mainland encountered a fierce storm that threatened to sink their boat. They prayed to St. Joseph for deliverance, and when they were saved, they swore to honor the saint each year on his feast day. The Liparian ritual is somewhat changed, in that meat is allowed at the feast. Some villages like Avola used to burn wood and logs in squares on the day before St. Joseph, as thanksgiving to the saint. In Belmonte Mezzigno this is currently still performed every year, while people ritually shout invocations to the saint in local Sicilian language. This is called, a Vampa di San Giuseppe, the St. Joseph's bonfire. Spectacular celebrations are also held in Biguria. Joseph is even celebrated twice a year, the second time being held especially for people from Biguria who come back for summer vacation from other parts of Italy or abroad. In Italy, March 19 is also Father's Day. Malta in Malta, the set date for the celebration of St. Joseph is March 19, but can be moved if necessary to fit into the Lent and Easter season. This has been a day of remembrance in Malta since the 10th century AD. Most businesses shut down for this day for all the celebrations that occur. The main celebrations are held in Medina, which is the old capital of Malta in the suburbs of the city of Rabat. There are three main events that occur for this day. One of them being special masses in honor of St. Joseph. Then it follows with colorful processions with music bands in the streets and fireworks at night. The main procession takes place in the evening with the statue of St. Joseph being carried to the Church of St. Mary of Jesus. The statue represents a high level of workmanship for the figure Joseph had in Jesus' life. Also, this is one of the public holidays in Malta, known as Jum San Guzep. People celebrate Mass in the morning, and in the afternoon go for a picnic. It is a liturgical feast that occurs on a Sunday in summer. However, the city of Rabat celebrates the traditional Maltese feast where in the evening a procession is also held with the statue of St. Joseph. On this day also the city of Zegtan celebrates the day, known as Jum il Kunsil Zegtan Council's day, till 2013 was known as Jum is Zegtan Zegtan's day. 
During this day a prominent person from Zejtun is given the Zejtun honor Gia is Zejtun. In the past years the Zejtun Parish Church has celebrated these feast days with a procession with the statue of St. Joseph. Spain in Spain, St. Joseph's Day is their version of Father's Day, which is called El Día del Padre. In some parts of Spain it is celebrated as Fallas. They feel that St. Joseph is a good example of what a father figure should be like, which is why they connect these two days. Since Spain does correlate this day with Father's Day, it is tradition for children to cook their father's breakfast or even give small gifts. It is a meatless affair, because it occurs during the Lenten season. Some symbols to represent this day include Jesus holding carpenter tools, baby Jesus, and a staff with lilies. A few things to do on this day to celebrate are attending a special church service, visiting different cathedrals, joining Valencia's Faya Festival, and exploring the city, museums and art galleries. The Faya festival runs for five days and ends on March 19 in remembrance of St. Joseph. Poland In Poland, it is necessary to celebrate Imminent or Names Day, the feast day of one's patron saint, celebrating St. Joseph's day as a part of this. Polish families celebrate this day with a St. Joseph's table in their house that is decorated with red and white for Poland and St. Joseph. These tables set up in their house include holy cards and candles all around and meatless food in which they call a festive fast because it is Lent season. To represent and honor St. Joseph, Poland has hymns they made. A few of the hymns are Dozo Moha, O Josefi Ukachani, and Szeslowi, Kto Sobi Patrona. The Philippines In the Philippines, some families maintain the ritual of holding a banquet for the Holy Family. An old man, a young lady, and a small boy, often chosen from among the poor, are honored as representations of Saint Joseph, the Blessed Virgin Mary, and the Child Jesus, respectively. The three, sometimes dressed like the santo traditional saint image they each represent, are seated around a table set with the family's best silverware and china, and served a variety of courses. Hymns are sung while they are literally spoonfed by senior members of the host family and important guests. The novena to Saint Joseph is also recited at a nearby temporary altar. The hosts and other participants then seek blessings from the Holy Family by paying obeisance to the three individuals or images of the holy personages they represent, either through kissing icons in the hands of the trio or performing mono, all while genuflecting before them. The now fed Holy Family are lastly given donations, monetary or in kind, which they split amongst themselves as a thank you gift after the ceremony. Topic: United States of America. In New Orleans, Louisiana, which was a major port of entry for Sicilian immigrants during the late 19th century, the Feast of St. Joseph is a citywide event. Both public and private St. Joseph's altars are traditionally built. The altars are usually open to any visitor who wishes to pay homage. The food is generally distributed to charity after the altar is dismantled. There are also parades in honor of St. Joseph and the Italian population of New Orleans, which are similar to the many marching clubs and truck parades of Mardi Gras and St. Patrick's Day. Tradition in New Orleans also holds that by burying a small statue of St. Joseph upside down in the front yard of a house, that house will sell more promptly. In addition to the above traditions, some groups of Mardi Gras Indians stage their last procession of the season on the Sunday nearest to St. Joseph's Day otherwise known as Super Sunday, after which their costumes are dismantled. St. Joseph's Day is also celebrated in other American communities with high proportions of Italians such as New York City, Utica, Rome, NY, Syracuse, New York, Niagara Falls, NY, Buffalo, New York, Hawthorne, NJ, Hoboken, NJ, Jersey City, New Jersey, Kansas City, Missouri, and Chicago, Gloucester, Mass., and Providence, Rhode Island, where observance which takes place just after St. Patrick 
s day often is expressed through the wearing of the red, i.e., wearing red clothing or accessories similar to the wearing of green on St. Patrick's Day. St. Joseph's Day tables may also be found in Rockford and Elmwood Park, Illinois. Americans of Polish ancestry, especially those in the Midwest and New England, who have the name Joseph celebrate St. Joseph. S day as an imminini. As a symbol of ethnic pride, and in solidarity with their Italian counterparts, Polish Catholic parishes often hold St. Joseph's Day feasts known as St. Joseph's Tables or St. Joseph's Altars, and display statues and holy cards of St. Joseph. As the day falls during Lent, these are meatless feasts. In the mid Atlantic regions, St. Joseph S day is traditionally associated with the return of anadromous fish, such as striped bass, to their natal rivers, such as the Delaware. St. Joseph's Day is also the day when the swallows are traditionally believed to return to Mission San Juan Capistrano after having flown south for the winter. Topic. See also. Topic. Calendar of Saints. Topic. References Topic. Topic. External links Topic. Catholic Church Calendar Anglican Calendar St. Joseph's Day Altars Prayer to St. Joseph <laughs>